All right, you guys, today is going to be something kind of on the fun side. I'm going to be sharing what is inside my children's stockings this year. Uh, I know that this might be a little late in terms of the YouTube world, but I also know my people, and I know that some of you shop late <laughs> for things like this. Uh, for me, stocking stuffers always seems to be like the last thing I get, so I wanted to just share some ideas. I do have four kids ages 19, 9, 6, and 2. So I'm going to start with the two-year-old and work my way up. Hopefully you guys can get some good ideas along the way and this can just be a fun video that's Christmassy and great. All right, you guys, so this clip somehow got deleted earlier, so I'm just showing you real quick what I got for my toddler. I picked up a few of these Play-Doh packs. He has this sensory bin that we purchased from our homeschool convention for him to play with while we do our work, and some of the Play-Doh has gotten dried out, so I figured I'd pick up a few more packs for him to just keep busy when we go to do our work. They were about 55 cents at Target, so it was a really great uh, deal. And then I got him a few Hot Wheels cars to also just keep him busy and that he can have fun with and play with. This one is actually really cool. It's a glow in the dark car, so I thought that he would have fun with that. All right, so the next thing that is going in his stocking are these ultra large uh, crayons from Crayola. I just figured it would be easier for his like cute chunky little hands to hold a thicker crayon so that way he can also use these to sit down and do a little activity or color while we're doing our homeschool work when the year starts back up and then um in all of my kids stockings i'm going to be putting the best candy ever uh, most of their stockings are filled with you know various items and they're not necessarily all candy but i do like to put a little bit of candy because it's christmas and they're kids and you know candy should be a thing to some degree but i'm going to be putting in some justin's peanut butter cups i personally feel like these are better than reese's I said what I said for you peanut butter cups out, lovers out there, but these are just like little mini ones, so they get good quality candy, but you know, not excess overload, gonna be bouncing off the walls all day long. Uh, moving on to my six year old stockings, or stocking, uh, I got her these little like fake press on nails from Amazon. She loves all things like girly and cutesy and I will link everything that I can down below in case you guys see something that you like. Um, some of this came from Amazon, some of it came from Target, and some of it came from Dollar Tree. So I'll try to specify where I got things just in case. Um, but she loves those. But usually when you go to Target or Walmart, you can only find the ones that are made for adults so they don't fit on like her tiny little fingers. Uh, I did see some that were made for kids at Hobby Lobby, but Amazon just had a better deal. I think for these three packs, it was around $7. So go check it out if you have a girly girl that loves to dress up and be pretty. Uh, next, I got these little like hot chocolate sticks from Target. My kids love hot chocolate, and they love these little sticks because they just throw them in a hot cup of milk and then it dissolves and this one comes with marshmallows um i got one like this for my teenager and then i got a peppermint one for my son so i'm going to be putting that in there and then i also got her some little like cute hair bands from dollar tree and you guys she's six it drives me absolutely bonkers when <laughs> she scrapes herself or not even scrapes herself but maybe just like bumps herself and gets hurt because then she instantly wants a band-aid and i'm like you're not bleeding we don't need a band-aid unless you're bleeding and so but the band-aid for whatever reason it's like a placebo it helps her to feel better but it drives me crazy so i decided in her stocking stuffers I'm just going to throw a box of band-aids in. I got those from Dollar Tree as well. <laughs> so that way they don't cost a ton and it won't drive me crazy when she wants to use them because, you know, whatever bump she got, 
is hurting her and she just wants that like, you know, effect of something being done to heal her pain. So, um, the last two items that I got her is this little like princess kit for Play-Doh. These aren't like, it's not like those like, huge Play-Doh packs that I showed you from the baby. Like here's the baby's Play-Doh. So you see it's like tiny. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually going to break this open and just throw it in her stocking. So I'm going to take it out of the box. But this is a small enough pack where it will fit in the stocking, but it's large enough where she can have lots of fun because it comes with these little stencils and then it comes with six Play-Doh colors. And she loves to do anything with like clay or polymer clay and Play-Doh and just all of the things to be creative. And the last thing I'm going to be putting in her stocking, and I think I might actually break this up and put one into my teenager's stocking as well, but it's like these little tinted lip balms. She loves to dress up and do makeup and things like that, so I thought that this would just be a really fun addition into her stocking. Now, things that I'm going to be putting into both her, so my six-year-old stocking and my nine-year-old's, are coupons. They love doing these. We got them. Uh, we originally started doing it in their Easter basket and they had so much fun with it this past year that I thought we would also add them into their stockings. Um, they're not anything crazy. This one is like a very coveted coupon for them though. It is one get out of trouble card. <laughs> so my daughter, the first time she gets in trouble, she just uses it <laughs> as soon as she gets the coupon. My son, however, he keeps it. So he keeps it until he gets into like really big trouble and then he's like, okay, here's my card. <laughs> so I'm wondering how they're gonna use them when they get them in their stockings, but they love getting this. And then the next one that we do is we try to do date nights with our kids. So sometimes we'll take them out of the house and we'll go either get food or do an activity, go see a movie. And then other times we'll try to alternate. So then we'll do a date night at home. We'll stay, um, you know, downstairs and then we'll watch a movie with them and, you know, kind of just turns into like a slumber party. So, um... I made a coupon for them to do one date night at home that they get to pick and the only caveat to that is that they have to give us 24 hours notice so then that way we can plan ahead just in case maybe the day that we're in when they try to give it to us is a little chaotic we can at least prepare for the following day instead of being like oh no, I can't do this. And then they're like, oh, well, I have my coupon. And it's like, well, I can't do it. And then you just kind of let them down. So I try to at least plan ahead for any hectic nights. Uh, the last one is that they get to stay up one hour late for a night of their choosing. So if you guys are looking for an inexpensive stocking stuffer that your kids will love, try doing some coupons, get some different ideas. Um, I'm sure you can probably find other things online to write onto the coupons. These are just things that my kids personally love to do. And because I'm always finding pencils all over the house, like we can never just keep pencils in the pencil holder for whatever reason. I picked up these Christmas themed pencils from Dollar Tree as well, just to throw into some of their stockings. So maybe we can have a chance at finding the pencils when we go to do our work. <laughs> And then uh, moving on to my nine-year-old. Here is the hot chocolate stick that I bought him from Target. This one, like I said, it has the peppermint on it. And it looks like it even has some white chocolate as well. So he gets a little bit of a mix. And then for him, I also got him some Play-Doh. And you guys, I bought Play-Doh reluctantly. I do not like Play-Doh. I am not that mom who's like, let's get the Play-Doh out. I don't like it because it ends up all over my house. It gets dried, it breaks apart, and then it's just kind of scattered and it really drives me crazy. But this year I'm trying to be the fun mom and get Play-Doh. So here is two little packs like I got the toddler. And so I figured that they could just, you know, have fun with it. Uh, I also purchased my son, you probably can't tell, this one's from Amazon, it is a reading light because he likes to, so we have them, their bedtime set at 7, 7.30 depending on the night, and then uh, my 9 year old though, he gets to stay up quietly in his bed until 8 o'clock, so he'll usually stay in there and just read his books quietly and things like that. 
So I got him a little night light that he can connect to his books and then, um, you know, just have some light to read things or if he wants to draw things like that, he has that light. And then for him as well, I got some band-aids from Dollar Tree and I'm actually really excited about this. He noticed that on my Bible, I have these Bible tabs. So, uh, you know, I can just easily skip to each book of the Bible. And he requested me to get him some. So, I thought that this would make a really great stocking stuffer. And on Amazon, I happened to find comic book Bible tabs. So, I thought that that would be something really fun that he would enjoy. They're cute and very colorful. So, I plan on putting these into his stocking. All right, now I'm moving on to my teenager. So with her stocking, I did not get a ton just because some of her gifts with her being a teenager are a little bit more expensive. So um, we do like to stick to a budget for things. But my cousin sent her a gift card because teenagers love money and gift cards. <laughs> and then I also purchased this three pack of tweezers from the Dollar Tree for her just because you know, being a girl, tweezers are always useful. And then I got her this little um, lip gloss that looks like an ornament. It's super cute. It's like a little, I don't know, ah! it's a little lip balm. But isn't that cute? And you can either hang it on the tree for your kids or you can just throw it in their stocking. I thought that was adorable. And then she needed a razor so i got a boy razor because boy razors are so much better than the things that they make for girls and i don't know why if anybody can explain that to me please let me know why but <laughs> i figured getting her um this razor would be you know a really good bet and then i got her one of the hot chocolate sticks from um target as well they also have really good hot chocolate sticks from uh, Trader Joe's too. They're a candy cane and then there's hot chocolate mix in the middle of them. So then as you put it into the hot milk, the candy cane breaks down and then it's a peppermint hot chocolate. Oh, it's so good. If you guys have a Trader Joe's next to you and you haven't tried one of those hot chocolate sticks, you should go get one. And they're only like 99 cents. So there's no reason to not get one if you have a Trader Joe's next to you. Uh, the last thing that I got her is this K Bella Soothing Honey and Almond Mask. I got this one from Target. And that is it as far as the stocking stuffers go. What are you guys putting in your kids' stocking stuffers? I would love to hear it and just get different ideas of things to purchase for next Christmas. Um, especially when it's like uncommon things like the Bible tabs and stuff like that. Like stuff that's not just traditional, but that's really good and comes in handy. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you again later. Bye.